Measurement of the BH characteristic of a magnetizable core provides the constitutive law that relates the magnetization density M, or equivalently the magnetic flux density B, to the macroscopic magnetic field intensity H within a material. Here is the experiment. The magnetizable material is in this donut-shaped toroid. The excitation or primary coil connected to these terminals is driven by the current at 60 hertz from this variac. The voltage across this series, one ohm resistance, then gives a horizontal deflection of the oscilloscope proportional to I, and thus H. The terminals of the sensing coil are connected through the integrating network with resistance 100 k ohms and capacitance 1 microfarad to the vertical deflection terminals of the oscilloscope. Thus, the vertical deflection is proportional to the integral of the terminal voltage, the flux lambda, and hence to B. We turn up the variac current. The scope shows the BH hysteresis loop typical of a magnetically soft material. Polycrystalline ferromagnetic material at the domain level has randomly oriented magnetic moments that tend to cancel in the absence of an applied field. As a magnetic field is applied, the domain walls shift. Those domains with magnetic dipole moments aligned with the applied field grow at the expense of domains having oppositely directed magnetic dipole moments. The result is a net magnetization that tends to be in the direction of H. In ideal materials at high magnetic fields, saturation results when all of the domains combine into one. In real materials used for transformers, imperfections and boundaries result in the domain walls encountering a resistance to motion. A phase lag then develops between the magnetization and the magnetic field intensity, H. The BH trajectory makes this evident. It shows that even when the applied field, H, is instantaneously zero, there remains a remnant flux density, B sub R. And the field must be reversed to minus H sub C, the coercive field intensity, to reduce the flux density to zero. Hysteresis can be both useful and harmful. Permanent magnetization at the remnants point is the basis for permanent magnets and for the storage of information on magnetic tapes and disks. However, periodic excitation of a hysteretic material, such as in a transformer or rotating machine, dissipates energy and generates heat. The area enclosed within the BH hysteresis loop is the energy per unit volume dissipated in one cycle. The dissipation arises from the resistance to propagation of the domain walls.